friends, it's Mrs. Feisner with our story for today. I hope everybody had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and enjoyed the hot weather and the sunshine. So I have a pretty short story today. So let's get started. It's all about my favorite kind of animal. There was an old lady who swallowed a frog. These stories are so funny, these old lady stories. So let's see. This one is by Lucille Calandro, and the illustrations, which are the pictures, are by Jared Lee. There was an old lady who swallowed a frog. There was an old lady who swallowed a frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. Look at these. I love this picture. Look at these frogs. They look so nervous. Like, uh-oh. Is she gonna swallow me next? There was an old lady who swallowed some dirt. It didn't hurt to swallow that dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed some seeds. At high speeds, she swallowed the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed the rain. What did she gain by swallowing the rain? She swallowed the rain to water the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed the sunlight. It was so fun, right? To swallow the sunlight. She swallowed the sunlight to dry up the rain. She swallowed the rain to water the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed some gloves. Oh, how she loves to swallow her gloves. She swallowed the gloves to hold the sunlight. She swallowed the sunlight to dry up the rain. She swallowed the rain to water the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed a rake. It was a mistake to swallow that rake. That's not very nice manners, huh? So the old lady said, Excuse me, I beg your pardon. And out spilled a colorful garden. Happy spring. And there is the frog sitting there in the beautiful garden that the old lady made. That's why she was swallowing all those things, I guess. So that was, there was an old lady who swallowed a frog. And there are lots and lots of these, there was an old lady books. They're fun to read. So I picked that book because frogs are my favorite. And I brought along a couple of frog friends today. Here's this guy. He's a little bit dirty because, unfortunately, Griffin got a hold of him one time and 
brought him out in the backyard and I guess he thought he was his toy, which he's not, he's mine. And here's this cute guy. And here's another cute guy. And my favorite one, I just made this guy. So he likes to eat different things like alphabet cards and um, some addition and subtraction equations after we answer them. So your challenge today is easy, easy peasy. I just picked something easy after a long weekend. In this story, this was about happy spring and at the end it showed a beautiful garden. So I want you to just write to your teachers or draw and write about something that you like to do in the spring. Like maybe plant flowers with your your mom or your your family or maybe you like to go on hikes outside and find signs of spring or maybe now that it's hot maybe you like to go swimming um just just actually it's kind of like a free write today your choice you get to write about anything you want maybe you want to even tell your family or tell your teacher about what you did over the weekend what you did for memorial day um so it's kind of your choice today so have a great day and we'll see you next time, kindergartners.